Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Dyson Supersonic. I actually have it right here because I keep it stored in this organizer, I guess would be the best term for it. It has literally all of the attachments and then the devices right here. And I got this one from Amazon. It was not expensive at all, but it does the job, which is amazing. Anyway, this hair dryer has been around for a while. It was Dyson's first hair product or hair tool launch, but it is actually the last one that I've gotten because I got the air wrap first, then I got the Corral, which is a straightener, and now I got this one. And for the longest time, I was trying to figure out if it was worth getting this one since I already have the air wrap, so I'm also gonna talk about that. Short answer is probably not really worth it, but I will explain why I got this one anyway. Anyway, with that said, you probably have already heard a lot about this product because like I said, it's not like it's brand new or anything. I will say though, this attachment is newer. I think it's only been around for like a year or so. And it is this one right here. This one is actually a flyaway attachment. And so you got the device and you just put it in here. Everything is like a magnet and you turn it on and then you just go like this on your hair. And the way that it is technologically engineered is so that it grabs your flyaways and it just hides them or like tucks them behind longer pieces of hair so that you have like no flyaways. And as wild as it sounds, it actually works. This is by far my favorite attachment and what I think makes this device totally worth it. Though I will say the new air wrap, because they just re-engineered it, has a similar attachment and they actually also reduce the use of barrels like to just two. Mine has four because it has the one that goes in this direction and then the other one that goes in the opposite direction. The new one actually is just one barrel and you can switch it so that it goes one direction or the opposite. Because the goal is to curl the hair away from your face, ideally. But anyway, onto the technology of this device, even though you've likely heard about it. My favorite thing about Dyson hair tools is that they actually feel like they're not really hurting your hair, which I know sounds crazy, but when you're using heat tools, it completely damages your hair. And I feel like with Dyson products, quite the opposite happens. Like I feel like my hair actually feels healthier. I know it doesn't really make too much sense, but trust me on this one, it actually feels a lot healthier and better. And this goes for all the Dyson hair tools. Like my Corel straightener is so much better. And then my air wrap also leaves my hair feeling better and healthier. The thing about it is that there is no extreme heat when you use Dyson tools and the same applies for this hair dryer. It does have like a smart tool and intelligent heat control that actually measures the temperature every 40, what is it? 40 times per second or something? Yeah, 40 times a second. And it basically determines what the temperature is like, especially for your hair. And it adjusts so that it doesn't reach a certain threshold so that it doesn't hurt your hair. I really don't know exactly much about the engineering. That would be up to the Dyson engineers to fully break it down. But all I know is that it literally makes sure that you're not using extreme heat on your hair to protect it. And you could really, really feel the difference. I mean it. It also has negative ions to help reduce static in your hair and a powerful airflow air multiplier technology that amplifies air by three times. I'm just reading the box in case you're wondering. This is where it breaks everything down. The glass bead thermistor is a thermal sensor that measures air temperature and transmits the data back to the microprocessor. That's probably how it knows the temperature and all that stuff. Again, that's more for like the engineers. And the pulse width modulation enables precise control of heating element. Very technologically advanced. All you need to know is that it works to dry your hair and it doesn't do it in a harmful way. That is literally the TLDR version. Anyway, as far as the device goes, it has three temperature settings. So you can go from warm, warmer, and then hot, I guess. And then also three airflow settings. So you can go from light to stronger and even stronger airflow. It's not a quiet device by any means. I mean, it is a hair dryer, but I would say it's not as loud as other hair dryers that I've had in the past. You just turn it on by pressing up this button and you can also press this button to have cool air. So you can take a look at it there. These are all the buttons and the options. And this is the filter. I've seen just based on online, the videos that some of them, you can just remove the cage. This one, you just slide it down and then you have to clean the filter. Ideally, you clean it after every use just to like keep the product safe and make sure that it doesn't break down. The reason why I ended up getting this one is because I thought that my air wrap had broken down. It just wasn't turning on. So I had to take it to the Dyson Service Center here in Florida or South Florida, I should say. And it turns out that it just needed like a hard reset. I basically just have to press the reset button like three times or six times, I think is what he said. And it just started working. So I was literally like, oh my gosh, I feel like I wasted this whole drive because it's like an hour away from where I live. And I was like, I feel like I wasted this whole drive just to figure out that the device was not broken. I mean, obviously I'm very grateful that the device was not broken, but literally just to figure out that I needed to press a button six times. Like I wish they had told me that via email. Anyway, so when I was there, the manager was there and he was like, well, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, is there anything that we can do? And I was like, no, you're fine, whatever unless you have a discount on any of your devices. And he literally goes like, yeah, I can give you a discount. Which one do you want? And I was like, wait, are you serious? And he was like, yeah, for sure. So I was like, okay, well, the only device that I don't have is the hair dryer. And he was like, okay, I'll give you that one at a discount, which I was like, what? So bottom line, I've actually gotten every single hair, um, Dyson hair tool discounted, or I shouldn't even say that I got it because like, 
the Airwrap and the Corel were gifts from Chris, but he got them at a discount. And so I got the hair dryer at a discount as well, which I was like, okay, this is amazing. I'll take it. Because obviously these devices are not cheap. Dyson in general is not cheap at all. So I was very grateful that my broken or not so broken Airwrap resulted in a discounted supersonic hair dryer. Okay, anyway, back to the product. So it has different attachments. Like I said, they're all magnetic. So this one is the flyaway one. And you literally just put it like that and then that's it you remove it done this one is the gentle air attachment so i just attach it like this and i use this one when i'm just drying my hair like the first thing out of the shower and on days where i do like air dry days i just use this mildly so that i can at least get a little bit of like the front of my hair drier so that it doesn't go all crazy and frizzy this usually helps and then i just let the rest air dry this one is a diffuser and to be completely honest with you i tried using this one once i don't know how to use it very well so i didn't really try again but i mean i guess i could keep trying but it's supposed to be really good if you just want to have like your wavy hair i just need to learn how to use it better this one is a white tooth comb and this one helps with coily and curly hair it shapes and lengthens as it dries and last but not least it's a styling concentrator and this one is the one that i would say i use the most well this one the gentle air attachment and the flyaway attachment are the three that i use the most pretty much like whenever i'm drying my hair with this one i always use those three attachments now as far as reducing hair drying time dyson claims that using this product does reduce your hair drying time i will be fully transparent i don't know if it does because in general, I don't use hair dryers that often or I haven't that much in the past. So it's not like I'm an expert at using hair dryers. So I feel like this would take me just as long as any other hair drying tool. So I don't know if I can fully say that that is the case. I think maybe if I was super used to using a hair dryer and then I move on to this one, maybe I might notice a difference. The one difference that I can say like without a doubt for fact my hair does feel healthier using this one than any other hair dryer. Now, do I think that this product is worth it if you have the air wrap? If you don't get it on sale, no, I would say it's not worth it. I think it also depends on what you're using it for. So obviously the air wrap has a bunch of attachments too. You can curl your hair, you can straighten it, you can just use a paddle brush and brush it somewhat straight. The difference that I noticed between the air wrap and this one is that the air wrap leaves me with a little bit more frizzy hair. This one leaves with like zero frizz. So that is amazing. Do I prefer one or the other? I mean, I think that for me it's easier to use the air wrap because it already has the attachment in one. I don't have to use a brush plus try to figure out like the hair dryer. Like the whole thing of like using a brush while also having a hair dryer is not the easiest thing to do. But again, that just comes to personal experience with or lack of experience using a hair dryer, I would say. I feel like if I was a master at using a hair dryer, this would be super easy and I probably would prefer this. Just because I do feel like the hair dryer leaves my hair feeling a little bit better and healthier than the air wrap. The other advantage that the air wrap has over the hair dryer is that you can actually curl your hair straight from wet. This one you definitely can't. I mean, this one you can't curl your hair at all because you would need a curler. But the air wrap does have that attachment. However, I will say because I have tried to use that attachment on multiple occasions, it works. It does curl your hair, but for me personally, it doesn't make it last like nearly as long as an actual curler. I literally curl one side and by the time that I'm doing the other side, this one's already pretty much extremely light waves or pretty much already straight again so i always end up having to use my beach waver which is my curler so in that sense i'm like well i don't know how much of a difference it makes i literally just can use the air wrap to straighten my hair or like do like a blowout which is the same thing that i can do with this one however there are people that have hair that is more likely to hold a curl mine doesn't really hold curls even with my beach waver it doesn't hold the curls nearly as well as other people's hair does so just this could be like a me problem not so much like for everyone it might not apply i have actually been using this one a lot more than the air wrap since i got it because i feel like with this one it's easier to dry my hair like there are times where i want to like i said air dry my hair but i want to just at first dry a little bit of it so that it's not fully fully wet and then i let the rest air dry and it works a lot better with this than with the air drying attachment from the air wrap and because i have a naturally straighter hair even using this one with the styling concentrator i can make my hair look relatively straight anytime i blow dry my hair i always try to make it as straight as possible because i just like my hair to be as straight as possible so it really depends on the use that you want to give this hair dryer again like i said if you already have the air wrap i don't know if this one is worth it unless you can get it at a discount or unless you're really into like blow drying your hair with like beautiful flowy bouncy ends then yeah that would totally be worth it because i don't think that you can like achieve that look as nearly as well as you can do with this one in the air wrap the air wrap does have the round brush attachment which is actually the one that i use pretty much every time i use the air wrap and that does help try to accomplish the bouncy blow dry hair style 
And again, it works, but I do feel like with the air wrap, I don't know if it's because it's just like directly on your hair and everything, I do feel like I get more flyaways and my hair gets a little bit more staticky than with this. So what I actually have been doing is using my air wrap if I wanna use like a specific tool and then I finish it off with the flyaway attachment. Again, this has literally been like my best friend. This is my favorite attachment of this entire hair dryer. Lastly, in terms of looks, this is the traditional one, the I think like the original one. But they also have one that is silver with copper. They have, I think like a limited edition one, blue with copper. They have, I think like a white and gray one. And then I think that they have one that is just all pink. And then this one might be like gray, like basically flipped. But this is just the original traditional one, gray and pink here, or fuchsia, I should say. Anyway, I'm just gonna attach a short clip of me getting ready using the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer just so you can check it out how I'm using it. Again, by no means am I an expert on blow dryers, like really not my forte, but I do really like this one and I'm learning as I go. Well, that's my review of the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Or if you have this product and you have an opinion that you want to share, please do so as well. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for this hair dryer as well as this organizer. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.